good morning everybody my dear students this is the last class for the mco for block number 5 in the particular topic there are two, two topics are there to cover as the particular uh, subject so we have to discuss accordingly suppose if any doubt in this regards you may ask through whatsapp to me or you may send some information also to me now i am sharing my ppt also and he, my dear student you see this is my powerpoint presentation this is the mco 4 and block number 5 and the topic is international and technological environment and the subject is business environment and uh, myself dr durga madhav mahapatra lecturer in commerce pakinmohan autonomous college baleswar and counselor of indira gandhi national open university new delhi in front of you or uh, through virtual mode i am presenting the particular topic that is international environment and ajolaj technological environment my dear students this is the last class and the topics are under block number 5 are unit 18 is the balance of payment and exim policy it means export import policy which already somehow some points which are already covered in ipo 1 to 4 in topics related to balance of payment and exim policy and unit 9 19 that is globalization and wto and 20 is the foreign investment and collaboration and unit 21 is the technological environment there are four topics are there it is a combination of two topics one is the international environment as well as technological environment now i am discussing regarding the unit 18 topic that is balance of payment and exim policy one part is one part is balance of payment it is it is also important for the examination point of view another one is the exim policy so similarly export import bank of india and how it will be established and these these are the two topics are very much important for your examination point of view but before go through the before go through the international environment i am pointed out the business is a combination of two word one is trade and commerce if you talking about trade the trade are the two types one is the international trade another one is the foreign trade uh, you may call it as a internal trade or external trade means foreign trade means it is considered a important aspect of the economic growth of the country you may you may call it as a exporting of a particular type of goods and services or importing the particular type of goods and services or you may call it as the flow of technology or through foreign capital investment or stimulating the saving rates of the country that creates a opportunity or uh, regarding the employment as well as the attaining the economies of scale if you talk about economic scale means large number of units you want to produce with it, and also it can evaluate the overall competitiveness of the farm my dear student if you talk about foreign trade or export and import of the goods and services it is indeed to have stimulating the technology mean through transfer of technology foreign capital investment and managing the business in a proper way and it creates the employment opportunities also and to enhancing the overall competitiveness of the farm the best example is the maruti suzuki the best example is the hero honda and the best examples of some other companies foreign companies are those who are establishing the business or open their door in the particular business in india also 
my dear student if you talk about uh, this foreign trade that it is always related to export related strategy you have to undertaken and some of the domestic trade that uh, domestic farms they are also one uh, through competitiveness attitude is undertaken through the enhance the quality and productivity it means if i am competing with the foreign companies the, uh, i may be focus on quality and also productivity uh, efficiency or quality and services of the goods is also important for example in payment primitive days there are lots of uh, there are some companies are there in india uh, like producing the tv or televisions now no where it is it means the, this is the only due to the lacking of quality it means foreign trade is also a, a my point is foreign trade is also important aspect for in the international business scenario <coughs> for this promotion of foreign trade some of the export promotion measures are to be undertaken the government of india also initiating the export promotion measures for creation of production base or market capability or enhance the capability of the exporters but in a, some uh, special economy zones are there in a special economy zones there is a, some uh, sorts of uh, uh, 100% export units are to be established or in a special economy zone some of the they are relaxing the some no government norms also and service exports units are there export houses are to be established trading houses established star trading houses established and easy to market access initiativeness brand promotion and quality is also more focusing and also the central assistance to the states to promote the not only the cottage industries or handicapped sectors also and some thrust areas are to be undertaken some duties at the exemption and some capital goods scheme promotion of capital goods scheme is there and there is there is a lots of uh, uh, means uh, promotive uh, measures which are undertaken by the government of india only the, why this happens this happens only the relaxation of tax benefits and some concessional rates also land uh, and skilled manpower are to be available plentifully and some of the exporting finance capability can be enhanced through the foreign trade my but this is the way of these are the some positive points and the and through which the promotion of export from the country as well as import from the country is enhanced but but certainly in the foreign trade some regulations have to be enacted to promote the exporting and importing of the goods but generally you already said that the exim bank is there export import bank is there and someone says no no foreign exchange management act is there fema or febra fera is also there but my dear student fast foreign trade development regulation act which is enacted in the year of 1992 because we are more focusing about the foreign trade after 1991 liberalization liberalization means lpg era we go through the lpg era liberalization privatization globalization and there is a lots of economic reforms which are arises under the prime ministership at the time of narsia rao and the finance minister of manmohan singh has looked into this matter to encourage the foreign exporting of the goods and services to the foreign country as well as the importing promotion scheme they are introduced and in such scenario 92 is the really one a one a red mark of the of foreign trade development and regulation act is there then only the custom act also it exist in 1962 and then the export quality control inspection act in 1963 is there but even if in between periods another act will be formed to management of foreign payments payments means that is a external trade payments or promoting the maintenance of foreign exchange market regulating the foreign exchange market in the year of 1999 but the this is the way through which the foreign transactions can be focused on or it can repeat repatriation of the foreign exchange also and this is the act through which the particular type of business can be enhanced 
of uh, like as a in for it, it is on more focusing towards the foreign trade another one concept is arises that is balance of payment and what is the trends of india's balance of payment the question is what is balance of payment balance of payment is just like a statement balance of payment is just like a accounting statement balance of payment is a just like a recording of economic transaction balance of payment it is also a uh, it is a it is a economic transaction of the country uh, with relevance to the rest of the world means if the india in india and the rest of the world what is the balance of uh, if you talk about india in relation to the rest of the world it means what type of transaction are to be carried out within a one year and that's called a called as a balance of payment it is just like a accounting statement of debit side is there credit side is there and and some country is depend upon the particular type of buying and selling of goods and services or exporting of the goods and services or from the capital investment in the different parts of the world that are to be recorded in a statement form that is called as a balance of payment for example suppose you double to or uh, some of the ibd or some of the world bank has uh, so giving some of the funds to the in india for upgrading some of the cases of infrastructural development in this case you are to retain in a in a particular statement that particular statement is called as a balance of payment my dear student it is a just like accounting records of transactions and it is a just like a accounting record of transaction of a resident of one country to the uh, transaction in between resident of one country to the rest of the world with a given stipulated period means within a one year and also it have on strength weakness of the global market also so imf international monetary fund has given a one definition he, he says it is a just a systematic record of all economic transaction that taken that taken place during the period between a resident of reporting countries resident of reporting countries means india as a reporting country or japan is a reporting country and what is the relation between the transaction in other transaction like other rest of the world that is the statement you can prepare and that concept is called as a balance of payment and why the what is the reason behind the preparation of balance of payment only one reason is to monitor the international monetary transaction another one is to record the all economic transaction like as a goods services assets of the company and within a specified period period usually one year it is just like a systematic accounting of a balance sheet of a particular company and debit credit transactions are there I mean, these are can determine how much money is going and how much money is out of the country means uh, what is the you may literally say it is a inflow it is a inflow and outflow of the transactions or it is a inflow means in which countries are giving funding to the india and in india how the exporting or what type of uh, they are uh, um, uh, receiving the some of the funds in form of borrowing capacity that are to be recorded in a proper format that format is called as a balance of payment and it is a very much important topic for your examination point of view also balance of payment has an different features are there it is a systematic record of the all economic transactions and it is also prepared for one prepared for the three month or 12 month also generally balance of payment is prepared in the 12 months but it it may be preparing within the three months also and it is have on two sides also one is receipt side another payment side receipt side means so from rest of the world what items what in which way the funds are to be received and payment being in which way you can pay to the outsiders and that may be the visible and invisible uh, items are there and it is also economic transaction there are two types of accounts are, the, are to be prepared one is current account another one is capital account but my dear student listen 
balance of payment is prepared within a three months or uh, one year also uh, one also 12 months uh, 12 months within a 12 month you can also prepare it is a just like account statement there are two sides are there and it is a just like adopting the double entry principles also and it 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 means if you are preparing the balance of payment it means it indicates the country's foreign trade position also and if you prepare the balance of payment means it is an economic health of the nation if you prepare the balance of payment means it is a one type of prosperity or you may call it as a balance of payment result always shows favorable and unfavorable condition of the country and what is the weakness of a country and how the particular foreign countries or balance of payment it should be favorable it means be it means surplus of the funds or in a deficit there is a two result are there one is surplus another one is deficit otherwise you may say that is called as a favorable and also non favorable or unfavorable the another one is the what is the structure of balance of payment as i have already stated balance of payment is a, there are two types of accounts are there one is current account another one is capital account my dear student in the current account there is a two items are there one is visible trade another one is invisible trade if you talk about visible trade that is visible means which you can see which you can touch and which you can feel that's called as a visible trade like as a export and import of the goods if you talk about invisible trade some items are called as invisible like as a banking like as a shipping transaction like as a insurance like as a travel and transportation these are called as invisible items are there but in a capital account there are three components are there one is private capital banking capital and official capital if you talk about private capital there is called as a foreign investment or foreign deposits for a long term loans that's called as a private capital it means a borrowing borrowing funds are to be conduct covered under the private capital also if you talk about banking capital that is a one type of uh, it is a momentum of the it's a movement into the financial assets and liabilities also of the commercial bank cooperative bank who the, who are dealing with the some of the foreign exchange also and official capital it is related to rbi central bank for foreign exchange or any type of special drawing rights which is held by the company means my dear students balance of payment have on two accounts are there one is capital current account the other one is the capital account current account is divided into two parts one is visible trade another one is invisible trade capital account is divided into three parts one is private capital banking capital and official official capital are there but even if if you go through in detailed way that that can be i have discussed in a, in a detailed way that is a, also type of account another one is a balance of payment always it is a one type of equilibrium position of the country and the through which you can but there are different sometimes balance of payment is not equilibrium equilibrium is not equal debit and credit are not equal or there is a always uh, some type of disparity also arises or you may call that there is a different causes of dg equilibrium is arises why these causes are there due to the deficit in current account due to the decline in surplus of any individual account due to the some of the uh, dwelling prospects of the concessional aids and these are the, or some stringent policy due to that these equilibrium of balance of payment is arises balance of payment means it, it's a happen happen good economical condition of a particular evaluate the good economical condition of a particular country sometimes it has a result in favorable way or sometimes it result in some unfavorable way or you may call as a surplus of the funds or you may call as a deficit of the fund but sometimes it has a dg equilibrium is arises and that dg equilibrium is arises due to deficit due to decline of the surplus in visual item due to the any type of concessional aids or stringent economic policy these problems are arises 
but you go through in my slide you see uh, how it looks like the current account looks like credit item debit item goods import invisible goods export visible there are certain items are there which can be shown uh, through the current account you see is the visit of our tourist to the foreign country foreign country it, it means if you visit several times to the foreign country it means the cash can inflow uh, cash can outflow to the other country or the foreign exchanges can be reduced other services purchased from foreign countries it means what it means there is a expenses item means debit side means expenses related items are there credit means that is income related items are there and uh, these this is the way through which the particular type of uh, current account can source through debit item and credit item and it is a better way to understand debit item means expenses or one type of expenditure or for a particular country and credit item is related to the some of the income resources like the suppose for a, if some foreign tourist are more visit to our country it means we are earning more foreign exchange and that is more foreign exchange is we earn that is called as a it is a positive remark of our country's economic growth my dear students sometimes you have to improve the balance of payment how you have to improve now you have to more focus on exchange rate adjustment you are more focus on fiscal policy and monetary policy measures you are more focus on some of the structural reforms also if you talk about structural reforms means government of india always promoting the different type of schemes they are introducing to promote the or to to it can add, it can uh, a, a one type of flag system of uh, red carpet welcome of the foreign companies or foreign uh, the tourist to visit in india also to establish their shop also that is called as a welcoming of a red carpet carpet system is also a covered under the structural reforms and mobilization of finance from multilateral agencies also these are the overall concept of balance of payment balance of payment is a one type of accounting statement of debit and credit surplus and deficit on favorable favorable and the balance of payment are two sides and through which the one capital account is there current account is there through which you can evaluate the country's growth country's prosperity country's confidentiality to evaluate the foreign exchange if you talk about the uh, if some if, why you called as a, some countries are very much rich or or developed it means they have on some good foreign exchange reserves and they have on some gold uh, more gold they have on procured this is why you called as a, this country is very much poor uh, very much rich my dear student this is the why this is the literally you can evaluate through the balance of payment and but uh, now the topic is export and import policy export and import policy it can also evaluate the facilitate the promotion of exports there are different uh, provisions are there compliance related foreign trade regulation act 1992 is there some terms and conditions are there and some policy have and different uh, interpretation also related procedure is also there some exemption from the policy procedure is there principles of restriction is there and some restricted goods are to be under focus under export and importing of the or licensing or certificate permission is there state trading organizations are there uh, state trading enterprises is there state trading enterprise can promote the export import houses some code number is also there export code number these are already discussed in ibo 1 to 4 ibo 1 to 4 these are already discussed regarding the how the exporting how the importing is arises or what type of conditions are to be related through the exporting importing of the goods and uh, what is the what is the what is the particular of areas of exporting uh, enhancement programs export of sample export of passenger baggage and uh, export of gifts edible items or gifts and export of spare what items are to be exported to the foreign countries 
third party exports export to the import of the goods export of replacement of the goods and uh, these are the some focusing areas as regards to the export and importing of the goods and services but question is here it is not completed the question is what is the role of export import bank of india it is also covered under ibo for but similarly i have to discuss some points so what is the role role is it has in the export import bank that is called as a exim bank exim e x i m exim bank it is set up in 1982 to promote the foreign trade and it is a financial institution to engage the not only the export importing but encourage the foreign exchange rates also so that foreign exchange management act is there which is a, which is a, which is enacted in the year 1992 and it will be effect from 2000 but before that that fera is also there means fera after it it can be changed as a fema nowadays we are we are using certain terms regarding the fema not fera so fera and fema both acts are related to the foreign exchange management so fera means foreign exchange regulation act fema means foreign exchange management act fera is enacted in the 1973 but fema is enacted in 1999 but the, but at that time the fera what is the objective of the fera the similar objective is there to promote the external trade payment and the orderly men the for to encourage the foreign exchange market also and this is the highlights of the fema in if you talk about fema uh, it means this is the act is enacted in 99 the main or highlights is it is related to two types of transaction are to be focused on one is capital account transaction current account transaction because it is always leads to balance of payment also it has a more transparent uh, from the specific receipt permission from the reserve bank of india or government of india also and fema has and some certain rules as regards to freedom of given to the resident to who have been who have been exporting their goods and uh, it has an uh, person resident outside india also permitted to hold and upon the security and property also they can they can acquire properties from foreign countries or they can acquire properties in this this is a open market assessment is also there in a by the firma and also uh, the exchange can be also purposes to draw on uh, draw on of exchange of permitted purpose also it means some exchange unless foreign currency e efc account holders they can introduce resident foreign currency rfc are to be permitted also and the rules regarding foreign investment through adr uh, american deposit receipt gdr global deposit receipt and through which uh, the through which you can the um, foreign uh, or the foreigners or the foreign individual or foreign residents can procure the shares of indians uh, or acquire the shares of the foreign companies and the, this is the way through which gdr and adr have an have an more transparent to permit the indian companies another one is uh, the unit 19 unit 19 is related to only two topics that one is globalization another one is wto there are two topics are there globalization and wto already we are somehow discussing the globalization globalization it is a liberalized policy globalization it is a unrestricted flow of goods and services globalization it is a, it is a open market of capital or technology Uh, through natural resource uh, human resources can be open up of in cross border transaction and globalization it's a called as a, it is introduced in the year of 1991 which includes like as a lpg liberalization privatization and globalization it is a one component to economic reforms but certainly there are different aspects of the globalization are there what aspects positive aspect is to encourage the foreign direct investment to encourage the flow of capital to encourage the new capital uh, new technological advancement or technological transfer also or to it is a, it is easier to global communication also and the culture sharing the cultural values also competitive advantage means easy access to low cost of material labor 
means through globalization you see different companies of uh, in indian company they establish their so open their so but foreign countries and foreign companies are also welcome like as ma you called as mncs they are, we are welcoming them and through the globalization process and it and new investment avenues new investment opportunities new um, employment opportunity and the scale of operation and the scale of uh, um, the flow of capital is also a, a good encouraging nature in the time in a process of globalization but there is different steps are there my dear student there are what are these steps the steps are you have to throw before go through the globalization you are uh, you can uh, you can change the exchange rate system you can more focus on open general licensing system you are uh, um, reducing the uh, import duty also you are more focusing to the importing of the capital goods with the concessional duty also and you can more focusing the foreign direct investment up to 51% equity also and foreign technological collaboration you can also focus on foreign institutional investor fis fis are to be permitted to invest their securities in the uh, indian capital market like as a primary market and secondary market also if you talk about primary market new issue market or ipo market through which raising of funds can be generated through the so this uh, so it is a indeed to have a duty of a fis and the capital market it can be also procured of the indian shares by the some foreigners or some foreign in uh, residentials also so this and overseas corporate bodies can be allowed to to st to uh, start their own business or in terms of uh, another one is indian corporates are encouraged to uh, the, go through the global market capital market through gdr and DIA, adr mechanism also gdr means global depository receipts adr means american depository receipt it means suppose i want to purchase a share uh, from uh, us companies or i want to purchase i want to invest some of the amount in some other countries means i it is it is directly not correlate to purchase it is to go through the gdr system and pro adr system it can be purchased global deposit receipt and american deposit receipt so it is a mechanism through which the particular through you can invest in the particular type of capital market but my dear students if you go through this uh, type of uh, uh, globalization process the there is a sum of liberalizing term, terms are to be uh, conditioning in the time period like as a gat or multilateral trade negotiations are to be focused on gat is there before uh, gat before starting of the double do the gat is there means uh, gat is a general agreement trade and tariff suppose some countries are uh, get uh, together to start a some of uh, one organization that is called as a gad and some member nations are there and only their objective is to liberalize the trade restrictions and bring down the all around prosperity of the country means we they are more focusing to liberalize the trade of or to liberalize the international trading system or to liberalize the international trade relations among the member nations means suppose uh, suppose japan is a member of gat uh, gat association or uh, bangladesh is a member of gat association then only or india is a member of a gat association means it is a easier access to us to trade at bangladesh to trade at japan to trade at any other countries this is the called as a liberalizing the trade restriction to bring down the all round prosperity and gat is also a allowed in some of the member countries which is the it has it has a reduction the tariffs barriers to the trade and it can negotiated within the framework of, of the gap but there are some the principles of gap is there what are these principles the basic principle is non discrimination non discrimination among the most favored of nations mfn and 
or in other countries favored nations or non favored nations and some of the quantitative restriction also administered without in favor another one is the quantitative prohibition of quantitative restrictions it is another principle quantitative restriction means it is a it is a just like prohibit some possible trade restriction which is limited to less right tariffs means you are imposing less amount of tariffs or duty to the particular countries you it you can it means the simple example is if you import restriction can be applied to the agriculture and fishery product means you can uh, suppose uh, in the india can uh, exporting the fishery products india can exporting some agricultural item the tariffs can be reduced and that is uh, that is the way through which restriction can be removed another one is consultation consultation with regards to negotiations but in this in this scenario in the gat some of the rounds are to be talking each other some of the several rounds talking each other means they were uh, called some of the uh, one meetings in my called as a meetings that is called as a rounds that is and the best round is called as the urugue round why you called as the urugue urugue is a place where the gat members are uh, Have to be scheduled in a particular meeting every four year, and that particular irregular that some of the important negotiations can be taken place. That is called as a that irregular round can take place in eighth round or ninth round of negotiations, and so that it is a very famous round. Everybody is talking about irregular. Irregular is a place. and another one is that urugya round is play um, uh, round can taken place it is a small town urugya in 1986 which is continue to till 1993 it means in a 93 up to 93 that rounds are to be discussed several times to to promote the international trade and commerce and that is called as a urugya round tables are to be negotiated with the trade and services then only after gat the gat has renamed as a called as a wto now no gat is there after 1995 only wto is there world trade organizations and the present in the 29th july 2016 only 160 member countries are associated with the particular wto my dear student listen carefully first gat is there to to promote the international trade and commerce then it will be renamed as a wto will be formulated and the wto are uh, in the established in the year 1995 and in present day 164 member countries are there but in india if you talking about how many countries will be affected in the pandemic situation only 202 or 203 countries are there even in some countries are they are they are not the member of wto it means some they are uh, some ministerial conferences they are conducting some highest decisions they can be taken part in the wto also and wto head up is at geneva and geneva is at geneva is at switzerland the wto head up is at geneva located at geneva and geneva is in switzerland but the main objective behind it to improve the standard of living to optimization of uh, utilization of uh, world resources with the sustaining development and to expansion of trade and commerce and employment opportunity and steady growth can be enhanced and protecting the environment these are the overall concept overall functions or overall objective of the wto if you talk about functions functions means it is a good trade relation it is a multi trade agreements my implementation administration operation and it can provide the negotiation among the members the rules and procedure and settlement disputes can be administered and suppose for example you see look at the afghanistan what happens in this section the particular w is there wto is there wto can look into the matter of afghanistan and how the peace and prosperity can be carry over at afghanistan that is the role of the wto not only the trade and commerce but also peace and prosperity 
so that they can also cooperate with the appropriate cooperate with the IMF, International Monetary Fund, IBRD, IBRD, International Board and Reconstruction Development Bank of uh, Bank. And this is uh, these are the affiliating agency to promote the economic global economic prosperity and global economic policy decision making. But generally, the, in a different uh, past ministerial council in the WTO of a WTO which is held at 1996 in the year 96 at Singapore, then Geneva at 1998. There's the Seattle, USA in the year of 1999 and Doha. Everybody is talking about Doha. Doha, the particular place which is related to the quarter, Kuwait or you may call it as a Kuwait or quarter that is in November 2001 and then fifth Cancun that is also established in 2003 and in Hong Kong 2005. There are several ministerial conferences there also. Uh, they are also uh, take part in the decision to have a major regula regulation can formulated in for the international trade. But sometimes WTO can overcome some of the uh, some of the agreement. Like as a sometimes uh, they can abolish the non trade barriers, uh, most favored arrangements. Sometimes it can change the. Uh, existing multilateral rules, sometimes it can change the uh, trim system, agreement on trade related investment measures also, sometimes it can focus on trips also, trade related uh, aspect of intellectual property rights also, or some IPR also. So this is uh, why the particular WTO has a focus on, and WTO also somehow they are focusing the trims and trips. Trims means that is agreement on trade related investment measure. Here one term is used investment. Here investment means allowing investment or active, it has some form limit of a particular company or it can uh, uh, product mandating or you can allow to the exporting foreign balancing local content. These are the some of the issues which are undercut on the trees. Another one is tree. Trims. Another trips means trade related aspect of intellectual property. If you call, talk, uh, talk about intellectual property support in pandemic situation, vaccine regarding the vaccine, where it is manufactured, that case is, uh, uh, is usually talking about in intellectual property rights. Always it appears in the newspaper, you know, read the newspaper, means some new ideas, some new innovation, some creativity expression are called as a, a intellectual property. Means particular vaccine belongs to which country? That is the question mark. But in a pandemic situation and all countries are more focusing, please relaxation of the trips condition, uh, sorry, IPR condition, intellectual property right conditions. That type of property right condition which result to patents, these are related to copyright, related to trademarks, related to industrial design, related to layout design, related to any type of trade secrets. For example, you look at the Covaxin is there, Covishield is there, but in India Covishield name will be changed at some other country, some other name is there. So that is the uh, beauty of a intellectual property rights. Means that relaxation procedure among the uh, particular countries uh, that is covered under or that is called as a geographical uh, openness of a boundary that is called as a covered under the intellectual property rights. Another some Indian Patents Act is also there, 1970s, some guidelines is there regarding the patent and some, uh, somehow these patents are to overcome some of the issues in WTO uh, agreements also. And my dear students, our last topic is uh, that is called as a foreign investment and collaboration. If you talk about foreign investment, foreign investment means World Investment Report 1999 said foreign investment in the, to strengthening the technology capacity, to skill, to empowerness of competitiveness of the exporting of the world market and that is the equity, approachness, employment opportunity. These are the overall concept of the foreign um, um, investment. And foreign investment majorly two types. 
one is fdi through fdi foreign direct investment another one is pi portfolio investment or you may call it as the name has changed that is called as a foreign institutional investors fi is and these are the two but there are some uh, features of foreign four features of fdi is there what are the features the feature is it can growth of investment it can flow of capital in developed countries flow from developed countries or developing country are increasing the recipient of the fdi major flow and that these are the some issues which are undertaken in the fdi about portfolio if you talk about portfolio investment someone is asking me sir what is portfolio it is a basket of all investment avenues basket of means i have on some share i have on some bonds i have some debenture i have on some stock i have on some financial instrument and that type of collection of collection of basket you may call it as a portfolio sometimes one statement always you read in the newspaper what the particular statement is the statement shows all all eggs are not put into the in a particular basket means you cannot invest only in gold you cannot only invest in only in shares you cannot invest in only in a national saving certificate means you can diversify your basket of investment then only your portfolio can be enlarged and the profitability or that comparative advantage can be undertaken in such scenario in countries also similarly fdi fdi is also allowed in different sectors in in our country also but certain advantage is there fdi as a supplier fdi as a balance of payment constraint is a vehicle of the technology transport it is an increasing employment also it fdi is also result in higher wages and but there are some limitations are there what are these limitations there are a foreign enterprise or domestic capital and they have on some create higher wages and not create the additional export also not create the competitive environment the in a particular situation collaboration is important what type of collaboration that is a foreign technology agreement automatic route it can also collaborate and use of trademark or brand name also apply another topic is the technological environment technological environment means uh, that is called as a what is technology technology means technology is a enabler technology is a enabler and how the technology will affect the particular firm that is the and how the technology will affect the business environment if you talk about technology you it means it is a know how if you talk about technology it means it can ways of designing manufacturing or utilize the things if you know about the technology there are many new type of technology are upcoming like as ai artificial intelligence ml machine learning iot internet of things chatbots drones big data predictive analytics and telematics and blockchain but you look at the banks a lots of transactions are to be recorded in a particular type of electronic ledger account that is called as a blockchain technology if you look at the whatsapp a lots of images you can send to your friends and send to the other on um, our um, marketing of your product how it will be recorded it through cloud cloud technology is there it means technology is a enabler and it can be utilizing the technology through which it can enhancement the particular business but if you talk about what is the meaning of technology it reality technology means it the word derived from techno where and from machine you or you may call as a technology or you may call as a human where or you may call as it is a one type of organizational system through which you can accompany some of the information but in the present day world there are three stages of technology are there one stage is invention another one is innovation another one is diffusion if you talk about invention it means that determining the realizability of a new product and services if you talk about innovation that putting into the use of new product and process 
means it means new realizing of a new product that is invent invention innovation means use of a new product and process that is innovation and if you talk about diffusion it means extending of a new product and services by just use means after using of the particular product some product is some useful in some other way that is called a diffusion process that type of concept is called a technological change and what the importance is there the importance is it's a an facilitator for process of globalization it can drive in the driver of a competition also and it can also change the world wide world cyber space or information super why it is also changing through the technology the so technology and policy statement it means the government always contribute to the technological development or research and institution r and d research and development institutions can be more focus on the encouraging the private enterprise to invest in r and d you look at the um, corona vaccine the corona vaccine in a pandemic situation the vaccine is developed by the private party enterprise like as a serum institute or bharat biotech so this is the way through which the uh, it's a it's a way through which the country's technological environment it arises my dear student if you if our country like a developing country the the government is also formulating different type of uh, of a collaborative approach is also there and the government of india first introduced the really technologically policy statement in 1983 before 83 they are, the government of india is not focusing any type of technology means this is the way through which you can observe you can adopt a new technology or through priorities areas you can more focus on out through availability of resources so some uh, some of the organizations are there like as a technology information forecasting assessment council is there department of science and technology you may call as a dst is also there but in present day the research and development scenario is also changes the it can changes after 1971 and dst is set up to promote the research of new areas nodal department to coordinate the promoting the science and technology research in present day government also uh, the under the chair, under the chairmanship of uh, prime minister of uh, narendra modi he is also more focusing about the the uh, only the uh, research and development means their slogan also ch changes also joy jawan not joy jawan joy kisan jan joy jawan joy kisan and joy vigyan and that joy vigyan is also a one type of scenario of uh, research and development by the uh, scenario will be changed by the present particular present government Uh, under the minister uh, uh, prime minister of uh, narendra modi but this is the why some patent facilitating center is there some programs uh, patenting center where our science and technocrats they are only focusing some intellectual property rights some creative awareness some understanding the patents and some dst also have on different scheme also they are as regards to pharmaceutical research is also they are and they can join the hand together with the some of the drug companies you see in the private drug companies or private pharmaceutical companies how they change their some of the uh, change their some of the way through the technology and the through research and development like as a programs covered under allopathic ayurvedic homeopathy siddha unani and this is the way for technology is a enabler and technological transfer is also enabler but if you talk about technology transfer it means we are adopting the new technology from foreign companies or foreign countries and that is called as a, a designating the commercial use also and you may call as a legally binding a one contract one communication through transfer of the relevant knowledge to the recipients means it is a one type of internationalized form and it may be also called as internationalized form mean internationalized and externalized form through which the particular different levels of technology can transfer another way one is a different types of technology transfer is used that is called as a 
through assignment and sale and licensing process, through provision of know-how, models, instruction, guides, formulate the basic plans are there, provision of technological knowledge is also there, provision of technological knowledge necessary to acquire is there, means these are the some features. What are the features? And it has a bridge gap between technological gap between farm and nation of the states. It means appropriate technology, appropriate improving the productivity and the cost efficiency and providing services to the technical uh, personnel and uh, you may call it as a, it can involve the economies of scales also on global sourcing operation also. These can be done through the and these are the some silent features of the technology transfer. But through technology, there are different mechanisms are there. Licensing system is there, contract of uh, machine and supply equipment is there, training of employees and technical export is there, or uh, trunky contracts, means comprehensive, uh, bigger uh, size of design and service under supervision facilities there, subcontracting system is there, acquisition, joint venture, that joint venture through collaboration agreement, through acquisition of a country. This is the way the particular, uh, particular type of technology is an enabler uh, to upliftment of the particular society. Another way is there are different vital components of contracts are there. What are the vital components? Through patents, through brand name, through sale agreement or assignment licensing system, through provision of know-how and some technical assistance, from payment of royalty and provision of technical knowledge, duration and restriction of clauses. And these are the some issues which can be undertaken, which can be on, on a period of arrangement, which can be a, a one type of uh, uh, way through training and to throw the knowledge can be acquisition and uh, uh, to th throw the payment of royalty system or management technical fees and uh, this type of arrangement is the <coughs> overall concept of uh, development of the technological background of the business environment. My dear student, in a present day world, in a cutthroat competition which arises, only if you, if you lacking the technology, no business can exist. And uh, sometimes if you, in present uh, class or today's class, we have one discussion regarding some international ideas as regards to WTO, as regards to the balance of payment, as regards to ADR, as regards to GDR, as regards to some trade streams and uh, some of the technology transfer and some, some concepts related, related to how the foreign trade will be is more useful in the economic development of the country. These are the overall concept of the today's class. But my dear students, now I'm concluding my class also. And if you have an, any question in the particular section, you can ask me through a chat box and I may answer some of the point which you, uh, uh, which I can answer. And Mukesh said, uh, good morning, sir. Susrita Priyadarsini, good morning, sir. Yes, uh, thank you, good morning. And it is a time uh, to ask uh, from your side to me. My dear student, first of all, you read the your uh, study material. Then study material means you, you first, you go through the summary of the every chapter. First, you read, read the summary. Why I'm talking about read the summary means suppose you want to watching some film means first of all you go to the kind of what is the gist of your film or which is a, which is put into the which star it belongs to three star or four star or five star if it is five star it means you go through this or you uh, you are really interested to watch the particular film so that first you read the summary then you go through the chapters then you go through my slides and then you go through the particular PDF books what I am sent through the WhatsApp and it is a better way to understand the right more points, more points. If you write more points, you can get good mark in your examination point of view. My dear student, in this way, you can understand a better way in a particular subject like as a business environment. 
business environment is a totally very easy paper but however you understand the subject and some of the examples whatever examples you have in daily newspaper you read the business standard or you read the economic times or you read the business line or in me in the, these are the some of the business paper as you are a commerce student you should read the some of the paper and the, then or times of india there is a lots of new examples have to be taken over and you can put this in your copy also and if you write these examples in your in your examination it is a better to secure good marks this is the way through which i can entrust you and it is a my advice to you also and my dear student if you any question you have you can ask me otherwise i may conclude my session and it is a time for concluding my session also